listening to Mix Delirium, a program by Mons DJ, the Rocco Sifredi of the DJ console, and Mark Thompson Ashworth, Lo Zucchino Doro. All day long as I walk around the city, I'll be seeing that yellow in my head, thinking of her. Actually, I think of her more than I see her. It requires a balancing act to remain on that line and creates a tension that is extremely pleasurable, but potentially problematic. I think of her a lot, projecting myself into wondering what she is doing right now this minute. I'm about to submerge my identity in the other. Is the balancing act worth it? All my friends tell me how lucky I am to have distance between us. Why, you could keep on going for years and years, they tell me. With your temperament, you need space and solitude for your work. Actually, they have a point. I'm always thrilled when she is coming to visit and equally thrilled when she leaves. There's the fitful insomnia that means I can't sleep in the same bed as the beloved. No cuddling, no big toe in the night to connect with. She is high strung, too suspicious to really trust anyone, too edited to allow spontaneity. She tends to measure out life with coffee spoons, love schedules, sets of rules. I hate rules, likes only junk food, sinks into the quicksand of a moody, distant silence, unreachable. I could go on and on. As I was dressing, he says, I looked out to the lake and it lay so still it hardly seemed to exist. Only one bright star, its light fading. It was holy. That moment, I felt it in me since. Everything turning into what is meant to be. Such astonishing convention. It occurs to me now that art is exactly this, making what's unseen, but all around us, visible. You're like no one else, I say quietly. I love that you will try. His eyes shift to me. Why only try? Because you'll do what you can, and that's as much as you can do. Don't assume you can bend the world to be what you know it should be. You won't win.
He begins to print the images he has made of me. He sets up the potting shed in the old greenhouse up on the hill, black curtains over the windows. He boards and tapes over the hairline cracks, turning the small, musty space down to intimate dark. the prints to clothesline strung wall to wall crisscrossing back and forth look at her he says in the developing pan my face ripples just under the surface he lifts the image dripping from the tray and pins it next to the others to dry i look at them one to the next
the expression of her hands, my hands, her body, her face, or mine, stern, implacable eyes that belie the soft hint of a smile. I cannot stop looking at them.
are in love with yourself, she says, smiling. I study them. Her face does not look like my face. You make me different. Different from how I've always seen myself. There are many of you, he says, pointing to the prints in turn. Quizzical, silent. Naked, he ignores that. This one here I love. How soft your eyes are, looking up at the corner past it. What were you thinking in that moment? I laugh. I lean slightly across the table and whisper, I like it when you do that. When I don't quite know if I can trust what you say. solemnity. I want you to believe that. It's desperate and intimate the way he says this. And I catch my breath. In every moment he is there. In every word, every tentative gesture, I feel a thrill. I see how his eyes study my face, the lines of my body, that quiet, particular hunger. Then he'll catch himself and look away. We talk for hours. He tells me how they used to call him Hamlet as a child. Because you were dramatic, philosophic, I laugh, philosophically moody, perhaps. The intensity of that moment. And then I was home, and the brush was in my hands. The paper feels vast and unbound, full of possibility, and I let feeling home to a same cool edge. No time, no thought, only that clear intent. My fingers taut on the brush, the colours like dark water. That mood passing right through my hand into the lean black forms of those trees. I stepped back. It was good. It was good, the painting. Nothing I had ever been taught. Nothing I had ever thought I would paint. It was his. The task of art is not to render things as they visibly are, but to call forth an unseen spirit, to draw what's abstract, Timeless, out of what is tactile, concrete.
You have been listening to Mix Delirium, a program by Mons DJ, the Rocco Sifredi of the DJ console, and Mark Thompson Ashworth.